Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Well, here we go. We are loitering outside Olivia's house, waiting for Olivia to make an appearance. Oh, here she is. Now, this is what Olivia looked like before the changes. Here's what she looks like now. Puberty was, well, just different on her. She's changed quite a bit, but she's about to change some more. In fact, we're not going to change in the future we're going to go back to the past when olivia was a toddler come out toddler olivia here she comes she's so cute as a toddler <laughs> now i actually made olivia into a toddler quite a while ago and i just didn't love what i had ended up with so this is what she looked like before on the left and i have changed her to embrace her girliness i mean she is the tech whiz the crazy genius but she also is incredibly stereotypically girly and we totally needed to embrace that so she has now got sparkly leggings and a pink skirt and her colors all suit perfectly and her pigtails are oh my goodness cute so i think she's now perfect she's still a little serious but that's just who she is so i'm so much happier with this new incarnation of olivia as a toddler so let's send her into olivia's house and let's check out her bedroom so through the kitchen up into olivia's bedroom now this bedroom is themed for teenage olivia this is not going to work at all for a toddler so yes we are going to totally renovate this bedroom so let's remove the parents bedroom which i also created off the top here and let's move olivia's original bedroom out and it's actually it's so small let's move toddler olivia out of the way because this is about to get very dangerous we are going to remove everything we don't need a dressing table we don't need a big bed we don't need any of those things and that was way too easy so all right let's modify this first up i'm going to remove the door that leads into the bathroom because i want to put things against this wall so we're going to need a nice solid wall and they're just going to have to kind of climb around to be able to get into the bathroom <laughs> we'll move all of these top bits off because i'm going to be doing quite a bit of changing in this room we'll get all these green smooth pieces put them away for later when we finished we can smooth over the top and now we've got our left hand side wall there I'm going to put these little inward facing studs there because i want to hang something off there and we're going to take this off here because we are going to extend the area of this room we are going to make it twice as large again Ah, so this is the biggest toddler room I have made to date. I may have gone a little bit overboard with my ideas for Olivia's room, but I just wanted to fit everything in. And this is the last Lego Friends toddler's room ready to go. Well, I just wanted it to be just... I wanted to put everything in. So first up, she needs a bed. And for her bed, we are putting it in the color scheme of crispy white sheets and pastel pink and darker pink because pink is one of her theme colors we're going to put these hinges on the bottom here so that we can make the type of bed that you can tuck the mini dolls into this is my cutest bed i love these little bed styles so in she goes we can tuck her in there doesn't she look so cozy all tucked in and it's a very plain top there on the bed at the moment we're going to actually decorate it with this sticker so we're going to put this across the two bricks. Don't panic because I've got more plans, but I'm going to just line it up so it's perfectly centered. What well, kind of centered? There, that's pretty good. In fact, that's lovely. And I'm going to put a smaller one down the bottom here just so it really is, yeah, we don't want any blank space down here. Just going to make it so cute and Olivia's room is going to be heart themed because if you remember the original Lego friends before she had cogs as her trademark symbol she had hearts so we are embracing that too we're totally going to run with it because hearts are cute and they go so well in a toddler room so pink hearts and we're actually going to cut down the middle of this so I need my cutting surface and I'm going to use a cutting blade which is very sharp and I'm an adult so I can use this but if you are a child who's doing this obviously get an adult to do this part for you but it splits them so cleanly so now make sure we put the cover back on the cutting blade when we're finished with it safety first now we can use these two beautiful halves to make the top side of her blanket so there we go look perfectly lined up when you do it like this i didn't want to cut them beforehand because i would have not been able to line them up when i put them on but now they just look 
as though they're whole when they're down together. Now I want to extend the length of this bed a little bit at the back. So I'm going to make kind of a bumper bed head kind of thing there. And you'll see why in a moment, you can probably guess why I've got a single stud there. But we are going to put this bed smack bang in the middle of her bedroom to hold these two base plates together for starters. So we're going to squish this down nice and hard. And this is going to hold the two halves of the flooring together nice and snugly. So there, look, I oh, don't jump on the bed. Oh, hold on, she's run off and she's come. Oh, she's got schnaffle flumpkins. This is a spot for schnaffle flumpkins on her bed head. So we can be tucked up there while she's tucked into bed and they'll both be very safe while we keep building. Okay, I'm going to build a whole heap of shelving around her bed, which will be great for storage. So let's put some nice big cupboardy things down here and we're going to put well, we can utilize them as side tables so she can use them to put her cups of coffee on hold on she's a toddler why would she have cups of coffee these little yellow pieces are going to be lights that are built into the storage and over here got a place for a very precious book the one that she's reading and it can be tucked here next to her bed ready to read gonna extend this side a little bit and now it's not symmetrical which might break some of your brains but you, you won't notice it soon and in this little cupboard here there's a hamster there's a hamster okay so we're storing a hamster in here this will all become clear as i build some more <laughs> as to why there's a hamster in the cupboard next to her bed and in the other side she has got some lego sets which she hasn't built yet and she is definitely a lego lover of course she's olivia how could she not love lego so they're safely stored in there and i've got a very special set for olivia coming soon you'll just have to wait and see what it is now Across the top of our storage unit, we're going to have these little inbuilt lights underneath the shelf. And this is gonna be the shelf over the top. And on the shelf, of course, of course, there are going to be a whole load of books. So this is gonna be her bookshelf. We're gonna line up all these colorful books because she's a toddler, they've gotta to be super duper colorful. They will be so interesting because they're colorful. <laughs> Does that work? Is that logical? And on the sides, we're going to round over the top and I want these little forward facing studs because there are now heart shaped tiny little Lego tiles and they are adorable and perfect and they make the most wonderful decoration. So sublime for Olivia's room. We're going to install this up here and hold our breath. Hope it fits. It does. These little lights are going to be so great for reading at night. Now there is a space up here for something special. This wouldn't be Olivia's room without a robot and she hasn't created Zobo yet because she's still too little so this is her very first robot my first robot and this head actually comes off a robot minifigure we're going to put it on the little skate to make it wield and put a flower on the top and this is her very first robot and it is her most prized possession she loves it she's obsessed with it she wants to know how it all works so this is the start of her robot obsession it's very safely stored up here. Now, next to the shelf, got all of these spots. I want some more hearts. So I would like a nice big poster with some more hearts on it to tie in with our heart theme. It looks so pretty. And this hamster's still hanging out down here. I'm gonna show you why. How did this hamster get here? Well, actually, you're not gonna find out for a little while yet because first up, we need to build an enclosure, a hamster cage, basically. <laughs> Still doesn't explain why there's a hamster on her bedside table, but we do need a hamster cage. So this is where the, oh gosh, that is grubby. Let me clean that. <laughs> That's what happens when they are a little bit, a uh, little bit used, like a fingerprints all over them. So here's a hamster safely in the enclosure. Here is some yummy hamster food down here in the drawer. It's very cute. And what else do we need? Oh, you know what? We're going to put a hamster wheel on the side. And this is exactly the same design as the hamster wheel from the Friendship House. It's such a fantastic design. We're going to attach it to the side of the hamster cage. It's so simple and so cute. They love the wheel. So let's put another little hamster in here. She has got so many hamsters. So there we go, a little hamster wheel, we're gonna put it, oh, hold on, we're going to put it on our little brick here and I want it to be uh, up a little higher. So I need a nice tall piece there 
And does this sit nicely? It does, it sits really nicely. We're gonna just take it up one more piece and then gonna attach it to the cage with another piece once we've installed it. Now, we also need a water bottle. So a feeding water drippy thing. That's its technical name now. And that has to go in the cage somehow. So we need to suspend that. We've got that ready. And now I would like a hamster run so that they have got this multicolored tube system. And my idea was to put it all around Olivia's room, but I just didn't have enough tube pieces or enough of these little curve pieces. So we're going to get it as far as we can. And we're going to try and tie this in here. There we go. Is that going to work? I don't know. Let's go and put it in find out. So we're going to attach that to the wall to give it a bit more support, but I'm going to need another single stub there, I think. We'll put our little hamsty wheel there and we're going to put a light on it to hold it all together. Oh, that's doing well. Now let's find out. I still need that to extend a bit. So if I, so the water bottle's hanging in there nicely. I'm going to add another one of these, which have got the two connectors. So, okay. And we'll put a light piece here, put our tube onto here, but I want to extend the tube along the wall and down into this little section next to her bed. That's my plan. So let's put this pink piece to support it and let's make a tube. We'll see whether we can get this little hamster run to connect all the way <laughs> to Olivia's bed and uh, not fall down because I don't know that's going to have enough support. It might collapse everywhere. <laughs> we'll just have to find out. We're making it super duper colorful. I wish we had some of these pink pieces in the cylinder, in this transparent cylinder. That would be cool. I need to connect that. So I'm going to need one of these Technique pieces. And let me see if that is long enough and just the right length. I think it is. It, oh, look at that. All right, look at this. We've got a little hamster tube <laughs> that goes all the way over to next to her bed. We'll put another hamster on the top. They just keep escaping. And the cat, if you remember, the cat was in the original Olivia's house hanging out here on the banister. So the cat can hang out there again and keep an eye on the hamsters at play. Now, we need some sciencey things for Olivia. So toddler sciencey things are a bit tricky. So here is her science table and toddlers like growing crystals and it's a safe enough activity with some parental help to grow crystals. So she has been growing crystals. She's got a beautiful collection now. She's got a nice big blue one and a red one and I'm sure there's a little green one here. She can put this one down here. So she has been doing science experiments with the crystals and of course she's going to need a toddler microscope and we need that to be very colorful but it's still going to work it's totally got to work because it's no point if it doesn't work so a toddler microscope over here and i have left space over here but i need to find out where's going to be a good spot i might actually put a little jumper piece down here so that the table can come on and off we can pull it out if we want to and let's get olivia out of her bed Let's see, let's see if this microscope is just the right height for her little toddler eyes. Now toddler eyes need protection. In fact, if you're doing science experiments, all eyes need to be protected. So we need some goggles. Safety first, eyes are so important. We only, oops, hold on, I dropped that. We only get one set of eyes in our lifetime and we must protect them. There we go. The science experiment table is so ready and so good. But she's not content with just this area being sciencey. Let's add this little piece where we can put one of the crystals that she's grown, her favorite crystal pink, of course, and it's going to be magnified so she can really have a look at it with the light shining through it from the window. So we're gonna put the magnifying glass right here on her bedside table and she can look at this whenever she likes. It is currently set up right behind the magnifying glass, looking so pretty. All right, let's extend the rest of this room, finish up the walls here. And, oh, actually on this piece of wall, I want a gigantic sun. Now I had a thought that I would love to put the planets all around her room, but I just couldn't find anything that was perfect to do that. So I've got another plan. We are going to put a massive sun here on the wall. Oh no, there's bubbles in the sticker. Let me try again. If I go down smoothly from the top, just a little bit of time and smooth it down, hopefully we can avoid those bubbles. Never had that happen before. Oh, there's still, no, that's pretty good. There's still a little bubble in that. We'll just call that a sunspot. Okay, so a nice big sun over here on the wall. We'll just put the white bits over here so that we know how it's gonna look. 
And I think we're also going to have a cloud. We're going to have the sun, we're going to have the cloud. Can you see a nature scene starting here? I love these cloud pieces. They are so cute. All right. We are going to have a nice big table with green on it. And <laughs> I'm so excited by this idea. We're going to make a little model, like a diorama, like a mini diorama. <laughs> it's so cute. So these little houses are going to be incorporated into her model. We're going to make them differing sizes and we'll have some different roof colors here with the red ones. And let me think, what else? We're going to need some trees, some mini trees for the model. And we'll make one a little bit taller. They're going to be pine trees. They definitely look like pine trees. So if they're pine trees, we're going to put some mountainy areas in here. A nice big mountain. Oh God, I've just had the most fantastic idea. I'll have to see if I've got pieces to do it. So we're going to build a nice big mountain up the back, a river flowing down or a little waterfall coming out into a pond out of the mountain, coming out of the Rocky Mountain. It's so pretty. This would be a lovely place to live. Going to put a nice big tree over here, but we're going to prop it up a bit with a bit more green. And it's a teeny tiny house up here on the rocky part of the mountain and a whole heap of houses down in the green area. <laughs> Remember they're going to be around the lake. <laughs> but I got bad news for these houses because on the mountain top, we are actually going to install a volcano experiment. Let me see if this works. If we put this here and we can use this, <laughs> does this fit? Oh my goodness, it does. So she can be doing the volcano experiment with the baking soda and the vinegar and actually have the volcano erupt down onto the unsuspecting houses below. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's put another little bit of green down here. Actually, I want this different colored green. I want that one over there for my pine tree and this one's going to be a little bit of green down the bottom. So she has made a diorama with the volcano, <laughs> an erupting volcano science experiment thing in the background. <laughs> that is so cool. That is really, really cool. And I'm just trying to angle this around a bit so that the volcano's facing angled into the front a bit. And do you know what else this needs? A dinosaur totally would have a dinosaur in here with all the houses <laughs> could be in there stomping the houses <laughs> it's become totally ridiculous but it's a toddler's room so a dinosaur can totally coexist with people in the houses in a volcano experiment now i would like a very special pillow cushiony thing down here on the floor because this is olivia's special lego building area and she's about to receive the most epic lego set ever it is the lego set of her own house the original lego friends olivia's house <laughs> she's so excited to build this she just can't wait but she's going to have to wait because we need to put all of the smooth parts along the top here finish this room off she's just staring She's so excited. And then we need to see how this fits into her existing house. So we've got this space here and it is hanging substantially over the side. So I'm actually going to put some supports in and a bit of an area underneath. I haven't actually decided exactly what I want to do under here. So I'm just going to put some things in here in the meantime. But first up, we're going to need some support in the middle. And I'm going to match up the brick pattern with the one there in the lounge room. And I'm going to need one more up there. And then I'm just going to put a whole heap of tan ones over here on the side. And we'll make sure that this supports the room beautifully so that it's not all suddenly going to collapse when we press down while she's playing, while she's building Lego. And we might, oh, we could use the side table from the old Olivia's bedroom here and a little carpet just to connect them up looks really pretty we'll put her handbag down here too and that looks like a nice little area heading into the house and over here we're going to put a connector here and maybe we'll make it a barbecue area so let's just put a barbecue in here and a picnic table and we will just leave them like that let me just check there's enough room to move around that there i think there is we'll leave it like this for now but i'll have some more ideas for this space later and her parents room can be on the top here and she's going to need a little bit of roof over here so i'm going to have to build that i could do something like this 
so I'm yeah, I'm gonna have to make her a little bit of roof to make this house not look quite so unfinished now that I've made her such a massive bedroom but oh my goodness it was fun and she is totally into this set she has got all the pieces out and she did not open all the bags at once she started with bag one because she's very methodical and <laughs> Now she and the dinosaur are totally wreaking havoc in her diorama. The peaceful little town's about to be swamped by dinosaur and about to be enveloped in lava. So it's going to be a big day for them. And after the big day is over, she can snuggle into bed with Schnaffle Flumpkins and she can read him his favorite story. She looks so cozy in her new bed. Okay, all the Lego Friends toddlers have now got their own custom toddler bedroom styled perfectly for their interests. It was so much fun, but I'm not finished with these houses yet. I still have some more renovation plans in mind, some big plans. So make sure if you enjoy these videos to hit that subscribe button. Do hit the like button and let me know in the comments what you think about these builds. And I'm going to see you with a new one very soon. So well, I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.